Hey, Doc Martinez here, and today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm not going to be making any old fashioned today. Nathan from Everyday Drinkers has started this new list. It's his top 10 dream bottles for his dream bar. And so today I'm going to do my top 10 dream bottles for my dream bar. Now it's funny, before I started writing down this list, I've always had a kind of list in my head. So I've had this dream list for a little while. So because I've had this list for so long since I started this bourbon journey, I've been lucky enough to acquire some of these. So I already have some of my dream bottles. Let's start this top 10 dream list. So first on my list, Heaven Hill 17 year. Now, I was hunting for this one for most of this year. I actually just recently acquired it, so I was super excited to be able to get this. As you can see, great presentation. Love the way the box love the way the box opens. And I've already tried this one, so I've already been able to, you know, break this one open and drink from it. I was lucky enough to have a friend, Chef Javi, pair a meal with this, so I got to taste this with a wonderful meal. Thank you, Javi. Now, number nine on my list, Blanton's Gold. So Blanton's Gold, when I first started collecting bourbon, or first you know, becoming a connoisseur of bourbon, Blanton's was one of the first ones I was lucky enough to drink. Now it wasn't Blanton's Gold, it was Blanton's Single Barrel, but I did really enjoy it. I know there's a lot of controversy out there, but I think for a beginner, it's a great bourbon. I also think there's a lot of you know controversy with it because you know they're all single barrel that everyone does taste differently. So maybe you get a batch that just doesn't fit you, but I was lucky enough the first time I tried it, I really did like it and it got me thinking, I wanna try more bourbons. So of course, when I started looking into it, I saw gold. So who doesn't want gold? I love gold. So I really did look, I tried hard, talked to friends in other uh, states and other countries to see if they could help me find it. Funny thing is, I was lucky enough to find this one this year as well. I was, for Father's Day weekend, I did a bourbon trail with my daughters and my wife. So during that time, we stopped at this neat little place and they had the Blanton's Gold for sale there. So of course, being one of the bottles on my dream list, I was lucky enough to grab one of those as well. Now, number eight on my list. Eight on my list is Old Forester Birthday. I don't care which edition. I've never had the pleasure of trying one, so I've not tried one yet, but the reviews for all of them sound so amazing that it's on my list because I definitely want to try that. So hopefully sometime soon I will get to try one. Don't care which year, but I think that would look great on a shelf. So it is one of my top 10 dream bottles. Next on my list. Now, my favorite line of bourbons from the beginning was Weller's. I know a lot of people don't like Weller's 12 and complain about it, but Weller's 12 was actually one of my first favorite bottles. And then it became highly allocated and harder to find. So I got funny stories about that, but that's for a different video. However, Weller's Single Barrel is the next one on my list. So that's my number seven. I've never been able to try it. As I said, I've tried most of the other Wellers, but Weller Single Barrel has not come my way. I have not seen that in any bars, but it is on my list. Would love to grab a bottle. Would love to just grab a taste. So my next one at number six is one I'm actually very excited about. I'm super excited about this one. It's Wild Turkey Masters Keep Unforgotten. Yes, that's the new one. And the reason I'm so excited about it is this year I made a drink where I mixed both bourbon and rye together. I thought I was doing something different, but later to find out that there's actually burr rice out there. So I've been able to acquire a few bottles of burr rice, love them all so far. So this year when Master's Keep came out and it was a bourbon rye mix, I was like, okay, that's for me. That's supposed to be the next one I get. I've been hunting for it. I haven't found it anywhere. I keep seeing all these great reviews for it. So I'm hoping to find one before the end of this year, if not by the beginning of next year. But either way, that's on my list. It's one of my dream bottles. I definitely want to try to get one this year. So now we're here, we are at the top five. So number five on my list is none other than George T. Stagg. Yes. Now, I haven't opened this bottle and I've had this one for a little bit over a year, but I've been blessed enough that when I go out, I've been able to taste this multiple times. And each time I've tasted it, has never disappointed. I think it's a great bottle. I think it's a great drink. It is one of my dream bottles. So I'm glad to have this at my dream bar. So I have one here. So my number five is George T. Stagg. The next one on my list is also a B-Tech. It is Eagle Rare 17 Year. Now, I haven't been able to acquire one of those. I haven't even gotten to taste that one yet. 
but the reason it's on my list and up there a little bit higher is because one of the first bourbons I ever tasted that I was able to drink neat and really enjoy it was Eagle Rare. When I had my first Eagle Rare neat, I was a little bit hesitant at first because up to that point, I really had most of one ice or it was mixed. I really hadn't had one as neat. But I was offered it, I took it, and I took that first sip, and wow, my palate went crazy. So I know a lot of people out there don't think Eagle Rare is that great. I really liked it, especially as a new one. I thought it was great. I think it's a great one to start off with. I still enjoy it to this day. I'm always lucky enough to have a bottle of Eagle Rare around, so I get to have it whenever I want. But the Eagle Rare 17 has not found its way to me, so hopefully the bourbon gods will bless me and send one my way sometime soon. Now we're into my top three. Now these top three were a little bit harder um, to figure out which ones were my top three, but I think I got a good set. I know this is gonna seem like a cheat because I'm gonna continue with the BTAC, but my next one is the W.L. Weller. Now, I was blessed that my wife found this for me. She got it for me as a birthday gift. I don't even know if she knew really what she was getting for me, but somebody told her this would be one your husband would like. And when I saw this bottle, I was just so amazed. My wife has all the luck, as you can see, so I was blessed that she went and found this. I'm not sure if she even knew what she was getting, but I have one here. So, I have not tried it. I got it recently this year. It was actually when I started my channel, I said, well, eventually I'm gonna open this and try it and maybe even make a old fashioned out of it. Some of you might cringe, but hey, you know what? The better the bourbon, the better the old fashioned. So I bet it'd make a hell of an old fashioned. So maybe sometime before the end of this year, or maybe for my birthday next year, I'll pop this, I'll pop this bottle open and try it then. Thank you, wife, for finding this for me. Now, my number two. My number two is a bottle that I don't know if I'm ever gonna be able to get my hands on. It's OFC by Buffalo Trace. Now that is a bottle that is hard to come by, very expensive on the aftermarket, but it's one of those dream bottles I hope to one day acquire. Who knows, maybe I get lucky, maybe I'll find it out there somewhere, but it's one of those that I'm hoping to be able to one day display on my bar behind me. Now my number one bottle that I would love to have on my dream bar. The number one bottle for me would be Pappy's 15 year. Yes, I know there's other Pappy's out there, the 20 and the 23, but I keep hearing the reviews for the 15 are amazing. And yeah, if I came across one of the other two, would I take it? Yeah, I would. However, my dream bottle at this point is a Pappy 15. I heard it's a little bit easier to acquire, which I still have never seen one. But hopefully one day, the bourbon gods will bless me, get one across my path, and I'll be able to try the Pappy 15 year. So these are my top 10 dream bottles for my dream bar. What are your top 10? What did you think of mine? What would you change? Leave in the comments below. I would love to see your suggestions. Probably missed some things out there that I didn't even think of off the top of my head. And I'm sure there's other ones that are even harder to get. But let me know what you think. Also, if you like me doing these types of videos, please let me know. Put in the comments below and maybe I'll do more of these kind of videos and not just make old fashions but add other things. If any of these bottles I have not opened and you'd like me to do a review on, I've not thought about doing a review on any of them yet, but if you think you'd like to see me do that, let me know and maybe that'll be something we do give a try. So if you like these videos, please subscribe, please like, and please click on the next link. Thank you, cheers, and be safe out there.